The heart of what we're doing here is helping people to connect much more powerfully with each other at work. That always starts with exploring the impact of their behaviour, both when they're at their best and when they're not. Siemens Gamesa wanted to, in a nutshell, create a workplace for their operational managers out in the wind farms where they felt much more engaged, much more um, having much more of a sense of authority, much more ownership for and accountability for their local workplace and for the relationship between them and their line managers and their teams to be much more uh, adult, adult and have much more mutual uh, power and, and to co-create things together rather than it be very parent-child. It's a really big, busy organisation they could easily be working 24 hours solid and still not get everything done that they need to do. So they need to prioritise and these guys today have chosen to prioritise the work that they're doing on their own personal leadership practice. Um, so we wanted them to go and talk about that and uh, discuss between themselves why they chose to be here today. Uh, and um, you know, it's really good to get them, give them the space to do that. Peers and allow your peers to, in a safe space, challenge you on what you're saying you want to do. And then as the sessions sort of rolled around you would come back and you would either describe a conscious or a subconscious level of achievement and your peers once again can challenge you, question you, praise you, um, maybe send you off in a slightly different direction or if you're really struggling help you come up with why you're struggling and, and, and that's what sort of peer review and sort of that's why we've gone off into these groups of three or four relative strangers, no agenda. No one's, got, no one's got an agenda in terms of why they're talking to you. So that's how I would see sort of peer action learning groups sort of in practice. When I was in my early 20s, I would have benefited from being, having this sort of thing shared with me, having my awareness raised to the fact that this is what leadership's about, this is your role that you can play within it, these are the tools, these are the types of things you can think of, and actually, if you're aware of those things in your, in your early 20s, you can grow them and develop them. By the time you get to your mid-30s and your career's moved on a wee bit, you can, you're actually going to be more effective. The real work is actually the practice of it. We already know what it is. The real work is actually every day getting better at it, bringing more of it. That's the work. We got um, a new site planner and she was quite nervous about the job and the role and I went from being a coach and showing her how to do it to very much it got to the point where she had uh, a PMP or something and it was like um, I haven't really done out, Claire still does it all and that was like, I was like, I didn't realise that that's how she felt, I thought I was being helpful but obviously I wasn't, I was still doing it. Dick Dictating maybe a bit strong, but telling her this is how you do it, this is how you should be doing it, and then um, she felt like she could never make any mistakes. So, so because she wasn't making mistakes, she wasn't learning from it, um, and it got to the point where I had to sit back, and it literally did nearly kill me. I was like, oh, I can't believe it. And in the end, I did step back, and then when something went wrong, I'd sit and go, it's all right, we can fix it. This is how we do it. And in the end, it freed me time up to do what I should have been doing because by maybe micromanaging her I wasn't doing the jobs that I should have been doing in my new role and then in the end she became empowered and got on with it and did it and did a good job she did it differently to me but it was just a different way she was doing it. What we actually need to develop within it, on our own site and with our own team is that support group and the reflective you know the it's almost the coaching bit isn't it reflecting and, and, and informing someone how they're behaving and how you look. So one of the worst things I've got is I think I'm doing the right behaviours and I try and reflect on myself. A lot better when you've got somebody else looking at you and saying, actually, you are being a total ass. Okay. Um, You'll have to bring that down a little bit. Um, my biggest breakthrough in my own behaviour has been, um, one of the things I set out in the beginning was um, Managing less and allowing other people more to manage. It was giving that space, that breathing space for other people to uh, step in and step up and be accounted for. Um, I feel as if I've done that. I think the difference it has made to me has made me uh, and able to adapt. I think um, I've been able to look at things that probably aren't right, that were just bobbing along, that didn't really get actioned um, and gave me the chance to support the team better and prepare them for the changes, which is the, the constant thing that we have in our environment, 
for them to be able to change to the, the different team mechanisms and the restructures that we've uh, got ahead of us. Okay, that's me. Hi, so uh, I think my biggest breakthrough has probably been uh, just being able to listen a bit more, not being as judgmental as I possibly as I have been maybe in the past with a new team expecting all the answers kind of thing. So what it's done for me is the difference it's made. It's kind of let me get to the root cause of the problems and not not kind of anticipating it. Actually, just listening a bit more, finding out what the problem is, and being able to fix it, not automatically jumping to the assumption that I know what the problem is. So, that's worked well for me and a new team. Um, my biggest breakthrough in my behaviour has been to not take things personally. Um, any kind of form of communications or anything that's come from my team. I think in the past that I've been quite defensive or I've misread things and things like that. Um, different sats made has helped us build relationships better. It's made my decision make a better uh, to little less Hulk smash. I'm more relaxed. Uh, just try to be basically be a better manager of people. So thanks. Siemens Gamesa wanted a workplace where they knew they couldn't win and couldn't succeed and be productive without the talent of their workforce being um, really harnessed, if you like. Um, so the sense of, um, of real ownership for the day job between people, that's what we're talking about. Um, and, and in terms of the impact of that, the benefit of that is, you know, people are coming to work um, both feeling a lot more engaged, they can be themselves, um, they're coming together, coming to work clear about the sense of responsibility they have and the ownership they can now take and they feel confident to do that. It can be quite therapeutic and you know, I didn't expect that but, but hearing stuff that you wouldn't normally deal with from Steve just had a massive impact on me and did change part of my life at the time.